वेलकम टू आई क्वांटा इन आई सीरीज टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ सेट फ्रॉम कैट 2022 थाउजेंड इज थर्ड स्लॉट फर्स्ट सेट दिस सेट इज टोटली बेस्ड ऑन इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ रेशियो एंड नथिंग एल्स दिस इज ऑल द फर्स्ट ईयर स्टूडेंट्स इन द कंप्यूटर साइंस डिपार्टमेंट इन अ यूनिवर्सिटी टेक बोथ द कोर्सेज ए आई एंड एम एल सो ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स टेक दीज टू कोर्सेज students from other departments with non cs students can also take one of these two courses but not both so no students from non cs departments are taking both the courses every student is taking exactly one of these two courses students who fail in a course get an f grade others pass and are awarded a b or c grades depending on their performance The following are some additional facts about the number of students who took these two courses this year and the grades they obtained. So once again, we are required to make a table, and table should be something like where we can put CS students, non-CS students, students who took AI course, student who took ML course, and out of those students who passed and got grades A, B, or C, and All the students who fail. So table should look like this: CS students, non-CS students, courses they took, and A, B, C, F. These are the grades. It says the number of non-CS students who took AI and ML were in the ratio of two to five. Total of AI and ML is two to five. So if this is two x, this must be five x. The number of non-CS students who took either AI or ML. So, how many of them? Two x plus five x, seven x. Is was equal to the number of CS students. So, total number of CS students is equal to seven x. And we know that all of these students took both of these courses. So, total AI students from CS departments will be seven x, and ML students will also be. 7x now next it says the number of non cs students who failed in the two courses were the same so number of non cs students who failed in the two courses failed in these two courses were the same so if this value is y this value will also be y and their total which is 2y is equal to the number of cs students who got a c grade in ml C grade in ML, some of these two. So this must be two Y. Now it says in both the courses, fifty percent of the students who passed got a B grade in both the courses. What are those courses? AI and ML. So let's say if number of students who passed in AI, number of students who passed in AI is equal to two A. Then how many got B grade? This will be half of this A, and passed in ML. Let's say if this value is two B, so how many of these got grade B? This will be half of this, which is B. While the number of students who got A and C grades were the same for AI, A and C were the same for AI. So what's left? B number of number of students who got B grade is equal to A. Remaining A students will be distributed equally in grade A and grade B. So how many of them got grade A? It will be A by two. Grade C it will also be A by two. In case of they were in the ratio of three to two for ML. So what's left? B left. B left three to two. So B by five. A will be three into b by five, so this will be three b upon five, and number of students who got C grade will be two b upon five. Next, it says no CS students failed in AI. No CS students failed in AI, so this value is zero. While no non CS student got A in grade AI, so in AI non CS students grade A, this will be zero. The number of CS students who got A, B, and C grades respectively 
in ai where in the ratio of 3 is to 5 is to 2 this is 3 is to 5 is to 2 let's say if this is 3 z this is 5 z and this is 2 z okay cs students who got grade a b and c in ai while in ml the ratio was 4 is to 5 is to 2 in ml the ratio was 4 is to 5 is to 2 this is already 2y can we say this must be 4y this must be 5y now it says seventh point the ratio of the total number of non-cs students failing in one of the two courses to number of cs students who failing in one of the two courses was 3 is to 1 so basically sum of these two value number of students who failed in any of these uh, any of these courses is 2y and this so this is already zero number of students who failed in any of the courses in cs will be 3 is to 1 so if this is 2y this must be 2y upon 3 30 students failed in ml 30 students failed in ml so in ml this plus this should be 30 we can say y plus 2y total number of failed students in ml yes y plus 2y is equal to 2y upon 3 is equal to 30 so this will be equal to y is equal to what do we get 18 so when y is equal to 18 let's put it here if this is 18 this is also 18 this must be 12 this must be 18 into 2 36 this will be 90 and this will be 72 what is total if you add all this we get 48 plus 72 120 plus 90 210 so this value is nothing but 210 so x is equal to 30 this is what we know total number of ai student will be in cs 210 Total number of non-CS student is also 210. We can say x is equal to 30. If x is equal to 30, this value must be 60 and this value must be 150. What we can say about z? 5 plus 2, 7 plus 3, 10z is equal to 210. So z is equal to 21. So we can find these values. This will be 63, this will be 105, and this will be 42. We already got number of failed students in CS department in AI course is equal to 0. Now, what do we know? We need to use this information, right? We know that number of students passed in AI is equal to 2A, total in AI. So, in AI, total number of students who passed is equal to 2a if this is 18 can we say this must be this sum of this must be 42 right sum of these two must be 42 so number of students who passed in ai will be 42 plus this value 210 plus 42 210 plus 42 is equal to 252 so we can say 2a is equal to 252 a will be equal to 126 so a by 2 will be equal to 63 so number of students who got a grade in ai will be equal to 63 we already have 63 here and 0 here number of students who got c grade will also be equal to 63 this is 42 so this must be 21 this is also 21 now let's come to ml number of students who passed in ml is equal to 2b so this is 18 the remaining values must be added up to 132 132 and this value some of these values is 210 minus 12 which is 198 198 plus 132 
will be equal to 0 this is 3 3 so 330 2b is equal to 330 so we get b is equal to 165 this will be 165 3 b by 5 this will be 99 2 b by 5 this will be 66 so number of students who passed in with a grade in ml should be equal to 99 we have this as 72 this value must be 27 in b grade it's total 165 this is 105 this must be 60 and in c grade it's total 66 this is 42 this must be 24 so now we got all the values as you can see this was not difficult to figure out we just had to use all the information one by one it's very easy to this is like data entry problem nothing else so now we can solve the rest of the questions it says now in case of ml this is 60 and 90 this should be equal to 165 right I have taken with respect to 105 I should have taken this with respect to 90 so 90 plus 75 will be 165 this is 36 so this must be 30 okay these were where the correction to be made now in case of a this is correct now let's check this all values are good i guess yeah so let's solve the questions now it says how many students took ai how many students took ai so total 210 plus 60 it's 270 option b is correct Second question, how many CS students failed in ML? CS students failed in ML, it's 12. How many non-CS students get A grade in ML? Non-CS students, A grade in ML, this is 27. How many students got A grade in AI? How many students got A grade in AI? A grade in AI, it's 63 plus 0, which is 63, option D is correct. Fifth question, how many non-CS students got B grade in ML? Non-CS students, B grade in ML. So this value is 75, option D is correct. So definitely not a difficult set could be solved very easily if you are aware of ratio and if you draw the table otherwise it could be really nasty using all the information and data is everywhere right so i hope you understood the solution for more such videos you can go to ilrdi by iquanta playlist on our youtube channel and follow thank you for watching